What is up everyone? John Grimsmo here. Quick little maintenance video on the Tormac. Um, although I haven't had any problems with it yet. The wiring cover is completely disintegrating. So this is for the x-axis which moves this way. Um, it's been broken here for a while, it broke here for a while, and I duct taped it. The duct tape worked fine with the old coolant, but with the new Qualichem coolant, uh, it just disintegrates the, the glue on the duct tape. I'm surprised this one's holding up. The one that was here just fell off. Um, so it's time to replace this, and I'm starting to get into it. It's actually not that big of a deal. Um, so I got a replacement spool from Tormac, not too expensive. I'm a bit leery with using the same replacement instead of something better. But, whatever. This has lasted for three years now, and I'll keep an eye on this one. Um, so yeah, what you gotta do is, because I don't think the wires co actually come out of the motor, um, so you gotta take them out of the driver over there. So I unscrewed this nut right here, pulled the wires out. You can see there's three wires going in. <coughs> and then in here... Uh, that's my X driver, they go X, Y, Z, and at one point I swapped them because I was testing out a little fault issue. Um, but basically if I pull on those wires over there and I can see which three are moving, it ended up being these three. And then I followed those up to the X motor and those are the three that go right here. So I'm going to have to unplug them here and pull them all the way out, but I'm going to tie a string to them so that I can pull them back in. Um, so tie a string to them, pull them out, slip off the whole sheath, put a new sheath on, and then pull it all back in through the, uh, the string, and then problem solved. It's actually not going to take very long at all. Alright, so I cleaned everything off, pulled all the wires out, wipe them all down individually and this let me inspect them for any breaks or whatever and the worst that's happening is just some oil is kind of caking up on some of the wires no breaks, no cuts, no nothing which is good don't assemble everything back together and have there be a little break in it um, and I got the end caps installed in the new one, super easy to do, they just thread in super easy now I just gotta thread the wires through that thing and then reassemble it and we're good to go <laughs> Stop grunting at me. <laughs> so we're just uh, covering the wires, tying a string to them so we can pull them through the tube. Beauty. So I realized why it broke so much, this plastic just got so brittle. The short pieces are hard to break. Super brittle. Up here it's still pretty soft because this stayed out of the coolant, out of the pools of coolant on the bottom, but... Yeah. Okay. Just put the covers back on. And we're about done. Obviously get the wiring order right. You can compare with the other three. Yellow, green, red. Easy enough. Make sure it's all plugged in. Make sure these are tight. Um, in the past I have had some loose connections. These screws. Hence my swapping trick. Because I thought the drivers might be funky. Because um, a couple times I did lose my um, y-axis of travel. So doing a long run of parts, and the parts are just moving side to side, no in and out. Um, that kind of sucked. But it ended up not being the drivers, just some loose wiring. Um, which I told Tormac, and they have had that problem before. Other people complain about that. So I basically went through the whole thing and, and just tested all the wiring connections, make sure they're all tight, retighten them all. Um, it's worth doing. Because you don't want flaky wiring. But yeah, pretty sure it's all good. Looks pretty nice, being all clean and flexible. A little strain relief at the bottom here. Look 
Good stuff. Quick little pro tip. Um, for the enclosure, the doors do go up and down. I use these. You need a quarter inch pin to go through this hole to prop it up. And I use these center drills, which I never ever use anymore, to prop it up. And I put a magnet right there to, to hold it so it's always there. That way I always have my thingy right there. And then on the other side, I have the same thing. Because before, I would go into my drawer and I'd find the center drill and I'd put it through and then I'd have to put it back in and that was stupid. Now having it where it belongs all the time, it's always there, quick and easy. So now that it's powered up or wired up, let's power it up and make sure it moves properly. Sounds good, no smoke. Reset, X. Yep, it's moving. So in total, that probably took me 25 minutes maybe. Um, totally worth it because if, that, if those wires had started to fray and spark, uh, it could have broken the driver, it could have burned up the motor, and it ruined a whole pallet of parts. So that's not worth doing. Um, so there you have it, a uh, little maintenance tip, and I uh, hope you don't have to do it, but if you do, that's how. Thanks, bye.